Hi Virgo, welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. And I am out of town right now, but I wanted to make sure we got your reading done for you guys. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2021. Um, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, like, share. If you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what you can expect this month as far as soul growth, possible challenges, and what you may be going through. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Virgo in regards to their current life situation and life path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher perspective on what soul lessons and soul cycles they are currently going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, let's see what we have for you guys. Holy Spirit, what is the overall spiritual message of guidance for Virgo in February? Overall spiritual message of guidance. We have Philippians 4.19. God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Jesus Christ. And on the back, Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And then you also have Isaiah 40.31. Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And on the back, pray and let God worry. So I feel here that Spirit is wanting to validate and remind you. Let me just move this for you guys. Sorry, this is a new setup here since we're on vacation. Um, I feel that Spirit is wanting to validate and remind you that so long as you place all of your worries, fears, anxiety with the Lord and knowing that he is guiding you, that any serendipitous moment that you have recently found yourself in or any growth, I feel as though some of you may have recently experienced um, a very noticeable shift in your physical life um, and I feel that it was for the positive and spirit is here validating for you Virgo that this is because of your trust and faith and belief and I feel that you have really been working on releasing any um, negative thoughts or worries or anxieties and you are hiring okay ascending your vibration so let's see what we have here for the month of February for Virgo. Some of you are making really big plans or really big changes. That's what I'm seeing. And that could also be why um, I was seeing the, the physical representation of a shift for you guys. Okay. We have harmony. Look at that. So harmony. That's beautiful. Trapped in fear, okay, and authority. On the bottom of the deck, you have base chakra. So there is a lot of um, chakra uh, ascending and healing going on right now. Actually, my mother's a Virgo. I was just telling her uh, what was happening here with the base chakra. So you guys may be experiencing some tummy problems. Okay. A lot of dizziness, maybe some nausea, heart palpitations. That is all normal. 
I want you to understand that this message right here is exactly what I got up here. You are entering a new phase. I see you really being in control of the space around you, Virgo, as well as um, within you. That's really what I want to say. This is the emperor, okay? So this is you really taking charge of, of your life, of where it's going, really setting down firm boundaries. And I'm not getting a feeling from you guys that this is like a negative authority. I'm really getting that this is you guys taking charge and putting things into action. You're building an empire here, okay? Um, and there is an opportunity in this situation for you to really come into a lot of balance and peace because I see you moving very, very quickly towards um, some type of commitment or um, contract maybe. Some of you, this could be business where you're signing contracts here, okay? But in the middle of all of this, we have trapped in fear. So I really feel like, Virgo, what you're going through this month is learning how to release and remove any of those <laughs> spirit is giving me two words 3d perceptions or human illusions okay so however that resonates with you but it's more so about the beliefs that have been instilled in you that have actually created blockages along the way um, a lot of you may have random childhood memories that created fear or trauma within you rising up. You may have a memory that you haven't thought of in a long time come out of nowhere. Um, and I'm seeing that throughout the collective as well. Take this time and, and this, see how we have the waiting game under here? How interesting. So take this time where things are rising, okay, from the base chakra, any fears, anxieties that are coming up into your, um, into your mind, into your thought realm and release those because there is a chance here that some of you could allow yourselves to be held back because of fear and not knowing how to break out of certain thought patterns, okay, and cycles or the way that you look at that spirit, I'm not taking that or the way that you guys um, communicate with yourself, Virgo, okay. Holy Spirit, tell me about trapped in fear. What can we do with this? Tell me about trapped in fear for Virgo. Interesting because, ah, look at that. Ten of swords and the world here. So there is either an ending that already took place or there's a fear of an ending coming in. Understand that things have to fall off for you to walk through this new portal here with the world, okay? Um, something may have ended or left you feeling um, discarded or down and out, okay? I am getting that, that energy from the Ten of Swords. Something definitely ended, but I want you to understand what I'm ov seeing overall for you guys is you're closing out a very long cycle of lack, okay, Virgo? You're closing out a very long cycle of feeling like you can't get up from this this energy right there was a lot of fears here there was a lot of blockages but i see that you've worked through all of those and now you are rising like the phoenix here you are stepping into your emperor energy tell me about the base chakra for virgo please tell me about the base chakra for virgo there is a lot of harmony here it's interesting that your reading has harmony and then authority, so beginning and ending, which actually adds up to 10. So there is a completion of a cycle here for you to move into a new cycle. And in, the, in between it, we have trapped in fear with the 10 of swords. So this is really in your power. I feel that spirit is putting you in a situation here, Virgo, for you to physically create and remove these blockages. They've taken you this far and now you have to put in the work and you have to show them that you have the trust and the faith in, in everything that they've provided you with. So um, overall energy again was the base chakra here. So we're gonna see what spirit says about that. You have the four of pentacles and the knight of swords. So this is a need. Like I said, there's going to be things that maybe you've kept to yourself or haven't really thought about. This is a fear of letting go of things, keeping something very close to your chest, um, not really wanting to be as open and 
it's more of a protection is what I'm seeing from spirit. Maybe you had a fear of opening up and being vulnerable. That's changing. You have the Knight of Swords rushing in here. That's a new idea, a new form of thinking, a new way of, um, it's almost like clouds are removed. It's a, it's a fresh start is what I'm getting here, a whole new beginning. Um, and with the Knight of Swords, it's something that comes in extremely fast and very unexpected, almost overnight. Okay, so again, that's with you dealing with the energies going on right now with the base chakra. So you're going to see a lot of um, communication, either divine communication or communication in your physical world that has to do with this harmony, possible commitment and or contracts being signed. And again, if you can move past these fears and allow yourself to rise like the phoenix that spirit intends you to be, you're going to move into your emperor energy here. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.